Is at UW and those they will face this weekend. Yeah, that's it. Stand on it now, boys. The rowing is the oldest collegiate sport in the world. 1829, Oxford and Cambridge. 1852, Harvard and Yale. Nobody's got the juice like we do. Nobody. Not even Yale. The Badger men's rowing team originated in 1874 and may currently hold the title of best story on campus. There's no question we're underdogs. I don't want to overplay it too much because if you hear that term too much, you start, might start to believe it. In case you're a little behind, let's lay down the facts. Wisconsin is the only Big Ten school with men's varsity rowing. Send it! Send it! The Badgers compete against Ivy League and Pac-12 schools that hand out scholarships and recruit internationally. Like shot, 1,500 meters to go. Shot. Over half and at times as much as 75% of the team has never rowed before coming to UW. It's very difficult to do. In the modern era, we're the only one who has won without international rowers. I can understand some of the, uh, some of the walk-ons. It's intimidating to hear these people from different places. They're offered a ton of money to come here. So how does Wisconsin get rowers to compete against recruits from all over the world with Olympic ambitions? They'll go to the sore tables and they'll just start, you know, approaching as many tall people as they can find. I guess it was just my athleticism or something that they saw as something that they could mold into what they saw as an elite rower. Right on the money, guys. We're killing it here. We're doing it. Head coach Chris Clark actually embraces gathering athletes with little to no rowing experience. The chance of getting an elite row, an Olympian, is probably better if if it's a walk-on because again I get a guy that's born to do it. This group of Badger rowers finds gratification in the grind of such a difficult sport and coming together to overcome the odds. There's no way to convey uh, 20 hours a week of training when it's absolutely miserable outside when you're going to be covered in ice coming off the water and your throat is just absolutely burning. Occasionally people say oh Ron it looks so pretty it's so beautiful. You could say that. But boxing looks kind of cool, too, when you're a, a little way away from it. It's very difficult. Let's stay after it. Stay after it. There we go. Yeah. This team represents an innate human desire that predates organized athletics, even those formed in the 1800s. In the end, it's just a natural affinity for somebody who wants to grind and work hard. It appeals to people that really want to push themselves to the edge all the time. And to do it without scholarships uh, and compete at the highest level means that we found something a little extra. Uh, we're all pushing that much harder, knowing that every other person is just as committed or more than you are. Lucas Mayer, NBC 15 Sports. Well, thank Ooh. you very much, Lucas. Wow, th those guys are amazing. And, and to, to hear that they're all walk-ons and to, yeah. to put out recruiting tables, at, at, you know, when students are coming in. I remember that. Like that, it's it's amazing. One of my friends was was small, and he got talked to about being a coxswain for the team. They just came up during registration, and and uh, that's how that. See, and so go ahead and get out there and show them how it's done. I know you're alma mater, Yale. You're going to be pulling <laughs> yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. he's a Yale boy. Uh, no, but that that's fantastic. <laughs> it's an What's awesome. Funny and about that, and a great story from from Lucas. Uh, did a it great was. job out there, and uh, nice job. Good luck to them this weekend at the Eastern Sprints. Yes. All right, we'll be right back with final look at the forecast after this.